Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again. I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. And what do you know guys, I am on PTS and this, ladies and gents, I know it's weird. It, it, it's probably wrong camo, <laughs> but guys, it, it's a game after all. And this is Petro Pavlovsk in the PTS. Guys, the truth is I did not play this ship because I don't own this ship in my regular uh, uh, main account. However, I just want to figure out, see the strength and the weakness about this ship. If you see, the first thing you pay attention it's extremely low in the water. I believe that Flamo is right. This ship sits lower than a damn gearing, which is a destroyer for crying out loud. And of course, sitting that still, yeah, good luck hitting that citadel and good luck hitting them. Sure, it uh, does have some superstructure, but overall, I would like to say it's a big ship, long ship, but tiny at the same time. Hard for me to explain what I mean. Guys, this ship has 220 millimeters uh, of uh, guns however it does have the same penetration as a base mark which has 380 so yeah Kerr first and me Petro Pablo is this a good cruiser if you like the Alaska this is absolutely yep that was a bounce from Petro Pablo's bow on guys and now of course I do have the HE loaded but no, no normal cases I shouldn't that was only one thousand there is a destroyer nearby so you know what I mean there is the bugger okay he was very lucky the Hala went I just want to probably there is the dude now I change back to AP because you are an AP monster not the AP on the other hand guys that was couple shells from probably Yamato must be a uh, damn Yamato uh, we'll see later the Minotaur would also try to do some damage to us very angle I'm a little bit afraid because the, th the truth is guys I might eat couple torps from Holland um, and I just use my uh, my radar R radar duration it's nice that it's long 12 kilometers in, and it's above your concealment however it's kind of a short yeah I did receive some damage 1055 damage but guys couple salvos from the enemy Yamato and enemy uh, Minotaur I received whopping less than 2000 something damage Kerfers is taking all the beating over here I'm in a very good position you see I don't want to show you my broadside to that Petro Pavlovsk However, oh my lord. Bad news for me because I had 80 loaded. <laughs> uh, guys, I do have 6 guns in the front. Of 6, 5 did penetrate. And that's causing me close to 5,000 damage. Guys, this ship does not have weakness. The only her weakness is it, actually uh, her uh, turning radius, which is whopping 900 something, 60 millimeters. You turn as much as a battleship. Otherwise, this is the perfect uh, uh, battle cruiser. Yeah, you can call it bat battle cruiser. She has Petropavlos. I received whopping 1,900 damage for that salvo. And that salvo also I received from Yamato's 1,400. All right, let's see if I can hit this dude. Mm, he dodged very well played for him. He dodged. Let's see next salvo. Oh man, I have no idea why he's turning. You see? Yeah, I can trade this type of game all day long. I don't believe that he ever played a, a, a Minotaur. On the other hand, he's good with Torps. Problem is a good torpedo uh, 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 destroyer captain. So uh, yes, I over here received my most damage was two uh, torpedo hit, which I kind of forgot he has 10 kilometers of torpedoes. Let's see what is going on over here, guys. If I can. Okay, very lucky. Only 2,700. 
but I do believe my next salvo might finish him off. I honestly just look how tight the damn shells are. And I do believe it's goodbye. Yep, one citadel because why the hell not? That's my third citadel and my second frag. Okay, this time, Sunshine, you almost got me. You almost got me. Even though I have a bad turning radius, the speed of this thing is absolutely fantastic. Something else is kind of a. Uh, I already uh, re reach and research my Alexander Nevsky. Alexander Nevsky, be, be, it's a. I don't know. Light cruiser, um, weird uh, cru cruiser dasher. You have a lot of decent dpm problem with that it's too tall and the consignment it's way way worse than con than petro pavlos i do believe that the difference between those two ships it's more than 1.2 kilometers in concealment petro pavlos ha has better concealment uh which ba basically means you always can there you got spotted suddenly and you didn't open the uh, your guns and there must be a destroyer you can pop up the uh, radar and try to locate the um, uh, destroyer uh, in Alexander Nevsky you cannot do that oh guys if this was not showing you how strong this armor is that salvo from both Yamato and Petropavlovsk it wasn't pretty damn impressive how if you are perfect bow on man there are very few ships if they are not he spammer they can harm you you see you have too darn of a good armor to just go and blow away you have way better armor than anything in this game cruiser wise <clears throat> um i would i would like to say that you even beat the muscular I mean, you, this thing and Stalingrad has probably the best front armor. Sure, the side, it's different story, guys. And sure, uh, you can be blapped. And probably if you are a battleship, you want to kill this one fast. You just have to aim for her side. You need to find the side of this ship. Otherwise, you will not, I repeat, you will not kill this thing anytime soon. The DPM it's not fantastic, but not by uh, bad either. This is a completely healthy hell. Uh, now I kind of use a lot of H, but trust me, what I'm gonna say right now. Very little damage you can do to a cramp as well. I'm very afraid of our Yamato. Yamato can actually blap me, and that was Petro Pavlovsk. Oh, put him on fire. So I'm have to disengage, guys, because the truth is. I might I am in the middle of both Kreml and the Yamato and both of them they have crazy good guns 1800 so you see the the HE are not wow you're not Zhao hell you're not even Hindenburg the the whole gimmick about this ship it's this brutal AP and AP you should have loaded because the guns and definitely the shells are, are so damn flat, so easy to damn to hit. So even a bow perfectly bow on a Hindenburg, he still received 3,500 something damage. He was very angled, and that was 6,800. He's still angled, but not angled enough. That was a lucky me that I did not receive from that Petro Pavlos. He could actually delete me. You have to consider uh, like this. Uh, if anyone uh, see your side, you're pretty much screwed. On the other hand, you, if you keep your angle, the AP of these guns are absolutely brutal. The AA of this ship is brutal. The concealment is brutal and also how low in the water and the armor it's absolutely mind-blowing strong. This is by far the most tankiest cruiser in this game. I cannot come up with one single battle cruiser. And sure, as long as you are I believe this girl's boy is screwed. No matter what I have, APH is still gonna die. Yep. Very easy to land those shells. You have one of the most accurate guns in the entire game. Sure, 
the dispersion it's not the best long range and the limited of this ship it's actually her range her range is only 18 point something which is terrible bad for a tier 10 cruiser because most of the tier cruiser they have uh, you know long long range besides Zhao Zhao doesn't doesn't have this long range but Zhao, Zhao has below 10 kilometers in detection our curve for spy die oh man where do I aim I'm a little afraid of that Yamato but guys even though I cannot hurt him because there's a Yamato on my left side and Yamato uh, on my right side and Petro pa Pavlos is also on my right so our uh, Kurfers he may actually die but the truth is I'm a little bit afraid about this Yamato but also this one so uh, the truth is guys we will win this one kind of easy only 1200 damage that okay I receive a, a little bit more I have to reverse because otherwise I can actually be die here 635 only yeah Petro Pavlo versus Petro Pavlos yeah he, it's hard to deal with they are extremely tanky and they are very hard to kill see if I can do some damage to this Yamato I'm still reversing I want to put this uh, uh, okay he turned the bugger you should try as much as possible use your AP the H is not something to home about you know what I mean but I do believe the, the AP it's absolutely brutal Petro Pavlos is trying, but I do believe our Haku will just go this low HE and kill him. That's what I think it gonna happen, and this game will end very soon. All okay. One more dead ship, and it's the end of the game, guys. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know in the comment below what you think about this uh, super oopiness of this ship, the Soviet bias. Is it true or is it just a myth? So guys, thanks guys for watching and all these captains, fierces and goodbye.